Universities that do not meet requirements may be downgraded or closed. That's according to new draft rules that aim to differentiate types of educational institutions. According to the changes, the university must offer a wide range of studies or be classified as a college. University South Africa's Linda Mayer says people can still comment on the proposed policy. So to become a university, and uh, just to say, you first need to be a university college in terms of uh, the, what the policy says. You would need to have 95% of your programs registered on the higher education qualifications framework, and you will also have to have a very strong research component. Institutions of higher learning, specifically universities, focus on teaching and learning, research and community engagement. And critically for universities, you will have to have a very strong research component where new knowledge is produced. Uh, and if we look at our, our uh, universities currently, there are a number of universities that are very, that are world renowned for their research activities. And certainly these are the type of institutions that we will be referring to as, as universities as we go into the future. Universities of technology might have a bit of a different focus might be university colleges, but really we'll see as the policy unfolds, as the uh, regulations are implemented, how this will affect the university sector.